Welcome to week two. We will finish up chapter one this week. So under the assignments tab, scroll down and open up the week two folder. First assignment listed is the personal theory journal. Clicking on the title will take you to the assignment. Please make sure you choose the personal theory journal, similar to what you did last week with your first impressions journal, but this one is worth twice the amount of points. This one is worth 10 points, so you will need to write twice as much as you did for last week. Please read through the directions carefully. The main thing I'm looking for is for you to showcase that you truly understand the theory that you've chosen. Give me some quotes out of the book. Um, you may do additional research on the web and find additional information. If you do so, please cite that source as well. Second item listed is a chapter one practice test. You will cut and paste this link in blue into a new window. Take the test. Please make sure you choose a chapter one. Take the test and then submit it. After that, it will ask you if you want to have it emailed. Please enter in my email, so beamp at westerntc.edu, and also have it emailed to yourself. Just in case something goes wrong, you have that backup. And you can see this is worth five points, and you can read in there how those five points are awarded. Next item, there's a mini lecture on the experimental method. Please view this video. It'll be very helpful um, for the next assignment, identifying variables and groups. So the next assignment, when you click on the title, it will take you to an activity within Blackboard where you'll read about some studies, and then it'll ask you to identify the independent and dependent variable, the experimental group, and the control group. And after viewing the mini lecture, you should have the knowledge to complete that assignment. The next activity is an old wives' tale. So again, you'll click on that, and it'll take, it, take you to the activity. With this one, you're going to design an experiment based on an old wives' tale. And we hear these said all the time. Those of you with kids may tell these to your kids. So you're going to pick an old wives' tale. An example that I've given is that eating an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Please make sure that your old wives' tale is in cause and effect format. Doing something causes something else, or not doing something causes something else. So cause and effect format. Please work your way through that activity. There's also a mini lecture on the correlational method. And then after that is an assignment where you're going to try to figure out, there's four examples, whether it is talking about a correlational study or an experimental study. With the correlational study, and again, this will make more sense after you view the mini lecture and read the book, but with the correlational research, we do not actually conduct a real experiment. We look at data that is already there looking for a relationship, but there is no cause and effect conclusion because we're not actually doing a full experiment. Where the experiment, we're going to, under carefully controlled conditions, we're going to manipulate a variable to see what the effect is at the end. So we actually carry out an experiment. So in this study, you'll in this activity, you'll read about the study, and then you will choose either correlational research or experiment in your answer. The final thing for this week is the chapter one online quiz, which is basically your test for this chapter, which will be taken right on Blackboard. It will be available starting at the beginning of the day, Wednesday, and must be completed by 11.55 p.m. on Sunday. It's a 25-question, multiple-choice quiz. You may use your notes and your book while you're taking it. Please take your time and make sure that you read through the questions carefully. Look each question up in the book. Um, no need to hurry through it. People assume that since you get to use your notes in your book, that it'll be a piece of cake. But it's not simply just identifying who said this, etc. You need to apply the information. So you need to understand it first before you take this. Um, and immediately after taking the test, you will get your score. So you'll see how you did. Um, you will not be able to see right away which ones you got wrong. I will make that available once the test goes off the air um, at the end of the day Sunday. Um, I can't make it before then because people could get in and, and see the answers before others have actually taken the, 
the test yet. So those are the assignments for this next week. Hope everybody has a great week. Please email me with any questions or concerns. If you're not understanding an assignment, please email me before you do it. Thanks.